What is going on everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs coming at you once again with another brand new video. Hope you're all doing fantastic out there. So ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you're in the right place to stay up to date with what is going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications. So you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, everybody, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm good, doing a good job. And if you wouldn't mind, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And let's jump on into this. Going over more of your feedback, things that you guys wanted to voice your opinion about. And this one is about that video where we had a confirmation from a dasher that Papa John's was dispatching unwanted orders to dashers. Because remember, Papa John's has their own in-house drivers. And what was happening is, and what is still happening, is that if orders come in with no tips or whatever, or to an undesirable location, Papa John's has the ability to dispatch those orders to a dasher, okay? Which is really, really, really interesting and also kind of a pain in the ass. So this is what you guys had to say. Uh, Alexander Muirbrook said, both Papa John's in my market post to DoorDash. Funny enough, most places having issues keep, uh, most places have uh, issues keeping drivers in my market due to gig work. We have two pizza places about to go gig drivers only. The driver just passing the buck is messed up, but the major issue is the order should have never been posted had they intended on taking it. I agree because what I forgot to mention was that uh, what happens is sometimes an order may get dispatched to a DoorDash driver. The dasher shows up, but what happens is the order was already delivered by the in-house Papa John's uh, driver because they may have mistakenly dispatched it to a dasher, but the in-house Papa John's driver probably saw there was a tip or something or it was a good order or whatever, and they decided to take it anyway. So then the dasher ends up wasting their time. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. David Fernandez says, yes, Papa John's does do that. My cousin works for Papa John's and she said that the drivers get most of the deliveries. And if there's an overflow of customers, that's when they use DoorDash. I've also heard this as well. That's really what it's meant for, not for undesirable orders. But they also give to DoorDash uh, to take whatever tips are left. DoorDash also allows this. And shame on DoorDash, but again, again, like I've said so many times, DoorDash doesn't care what happens to the dasher or driver. Uh, you know, all they care about is, did the order get delivered? That's what they can't care about. And I get it. I get it. Doesn't make it right. Hempan Paré says, this is exactly what I was talking about. They're using a third party app called Drive or Dispatch to outsource these orders to us. When uh, A, they don't have enough drivers or B, when the store simply doesn't want to take it or out of their delivery area. Exactly what I was saying, right. Uh, John Frank says, delivery is a jungle. In order to hold your own, you just have to be smart and pay attention. We as drivers are at war with the app companies. We are trying to make a buck while they are constantly attempting to gain our services for free. I, I agree with you, John, I absolutely do. Judge Radar says, when you call DoorDash to report an order as being already delivered, they'll pay you half of your offer price. That's something, okay? However, you're on that call for at least 15 minutes before the issue is resolved and you are cleared to get your next offer. That's the downside. Would you hold on the phone for 15 minutes for $1.50? I wouldn't. Or would you just unassign the order and get the next one in a couple of minutes or so? Now, the only issue with the unassigning is they really, really don't like when you unassign too many orders. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, and finally, BR says, I deliver for Papa John's on the weekend. The customer is never aware that a dasher is delivering if it's through the PJ app, or Papa John's app. If they don't have enough drivers or get too busy and orders are sitting, then Papa John's will send it to, da to DoorDash for help. I can't speak for other stores, but no, but no they're not cherry picked. In our store, for instance, we only have two drivers for closing after 10 p.m. Uh, 10 PM. If we get 10 orders, two drivers isn't enough. So the manager will send one or two to DoorDash so that the customers aren't waiting forever. Exactly, and that's what I was talking about. But this is a real problem, guys. This is a real issue. And like I said, 
don't plan on this getting fixed anytime soon because again, in DoorDash's mind, orders are being delivered. That's all they care about. At the end of the day, they're saying, oh, are the customers getting their orders? Yes, sounds good. That's it. That's just what happens. So drivers, dashers, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to hear what you have to say. And with that being said, if you guys ever have anything you want to share with me, a story, uh, anything, uh, a, what do you call it? A story, a topic, whatever you got, uh, send it to paid to drive stories at gmail.com. That's the best place to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you can message me through Patreon at patreon.com slash paid to drive. That link's in the description down below or the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron is my way of saying thank you as I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos, which I'm about to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Best, Jenny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, uh, Johnny, John Bonacci, Johnny Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys out there. So yeah, if you want to sign up, link's in the description down below. Make sure to check that out. Who's going to be the next patron? I don't know. Could be you. And of course, everybody, uh, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas with the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free app for your smartphone where uh, you can get lots of money back every time you pump gas. That's right. So scroll down this page, click the link in the description that says get the free gas app. You click on that. It tells you how to install it on whatever kind of phone you have. And then what you do from that point is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or a family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside, links in the description. Make sure to download it today, of course. And if you want one of these awesome Live to Drive, Drive to Live t-shirts, you can get your own at Pay to Drive store. Dot com. That's correct, everybody. Definitely go check that out. Uh, we have lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale. PayToDriveStore.com is the place for you, my friends. That's correct. Uh, so with that being said, if you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment right now saying end 104, E-N-D 104. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Very grateful for that. And of course, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications. So you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, if you wouldn't mind, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on pay to drive and pay to drive logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.